Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Green Pastures Healthier You. Today I'm in my favorite health food store and today I want to talk to you about two superstar foods and that's watercress and ginger. And those two are at the top of my superstar list because they are packed with so many nutrients. First let's talk about the watercress. Watercress, I like to use organic living watercress and it looks like this and it sort of has this kind of you know peppery taste you probably you probably had some of this before on your plate as garment garnish and didn't even know it and probably tossed it didn't know how packed it was with tons of nutrients or you might have had it in a salad or soup but I'm telling you this has over 51 vital minerals and vitamins and it is packed with vitamin K and you all know how much we need vitamin K for healthy bones watercress also has a lot of iron and it does so much more. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you all the benefits of watercress and ginger. The next dynamic duo is a ginger. Ginger is excellent for inflammation and we all can use ginger. <laughs> it's also great for digestion and this is my go-to whenever I have, you know, a queasy stomach or feel nauseous. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go pay for both of these and so I can go home and show you guys how to make the juice. All right, let's go. All right, let's start off with the dynamic duo. We have organic watercress. We're gonna use a handful. And we have next to it, organic ginger. A th just a, about a thumb size. And ginger is great for inflammation and a lot of other benefits. Next I have raw unfiltered local honey, which is optional, or you can also use manuka honey. Then I have ice cubes and water, spring or filtered. I normally drink mine without the honey, but the honey gives it a nice little flavor. Good option. Next, I pour all my content, watercress, ice, water, ginger, into a blender. And then I blend for a good five to 10 seconds. And then I strain. If you notice, uh, there's some roughage that's in the strainer. That's the insoluble fiber. So what I'll do is squeeze out the soluble fiber and then I'll pour the juice back into the blender. And this is where you can put a tablespoon or two of honey, which is optional. And then you blend for another five seconds, no more. And then you have nice, peppery, gingery, smooth watercress and ginger. Oh yeah. Watercress! 